and we prayed. We prayed the whole time. Today marks 32 years since the McDonald's massacre in San Ysidro where 40 people were shot. New at 5.30, 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina is joining us. And Steve, the tragedy is getting a second look in an upcoming documentary. It is, Kim, and every year on the anniversary of the massacre, new flowers are brought here to the memorial, which stands on the site where that McDonald's used to stand before it was torn down. Dedicated to 21 people who died here that day. Wendy Flanagan is reminded of the massacre at the San Isidro McDonald's every time there's a new terrorist attack. I go through it over and over. Excuse me. Yeah, I relive it every time. She was working the counter that day 32 years ago. I went back with the bucket to get the ice to put it in the front where we make the soft drinks and it started. She heard one shot, then several more and ran for the basement, holding onto a friend's religious necklace. Guadalupe, she had on her neck, so we held them and we prayed. We prayed the whole time. Now a documentary is being produced, 77 minutes. The film was made to honor the victims, honor, represent, and give them a voice. The filmmaker has an agenda as he looks back on July 18, 1984. The media has glorified killers all the time, putting all the focus and emphasis on the killers when they're dirtbags, criminals, and cowards, and they should be dismissed. Said he won't name the gunman in his film, but many of us remember James Huberty, who shot 40, killing 21 that day. Michael Obadaka was across the street. I heard all the shooting in there, Lena. I looked in there and I saw there was an old friend that I used to hang around with that was doing the shooting. He knew Huberty was disturbed. He used to tell me they had dreams of things like that, of, of shooting people and stuff like that. And um, I guess they probably just got to him. And men reflected on the new summer of violence. I think the timing is good. Uh, I think it shows we've, we've made absolutely no progress with mass shootings. Uh, San Diego in 84 was the worst one ever. And then after that, in 1991, we had Killeen, Texas, and then you name it since then, Virginia Tech, Sandy Hook, Aurora Movie Theater, San Bernardino, Orlando. Most of these are anonymous, but that one, David Flores, one of the little boys who was killed here that day. At 8 o'clock, how Wendy is living her life now, live in San Isidro. Steve Fury, 10.